Sanebox and Unroll Me are both services geared at helping you control your email inbox. And I've got six similarities and or differences. So you can choose which service makes the most sense for you or if the service makes sense for you at all. The first is how they work. They both send you one newspaper a day. And I say newspaper instead of newsletter because it takes all of your newsletters and piles them all together and then sends you one email. So it seems more like a, uh, a newspaper than a newsletter to me. And this is what they look like. On the left, you've got SaneBox, kind of clean, nice design. Over here, you've got Unroll Me, a little less clean. <laughs> the images aren't working for some reason, but th this, is, this is what they look like. When you click on the email, it, both of them take you out of your email inbox and into the service, either SaneBox or Unroll Me, where you can view and then change what's happening with that newsletter. Maybe you want it to go into your inbox, maybe with Unroll Me you want to unsubscribe it, or maybe with SaneBox you'll put it into the same black hole, which I'll talk about in a minute. But that's how it works. They it, it takes you out of the out of your email inbox if you want to look at it, which is some nice friction because maybe you would read what's new with Amazon Echo and take a couple minutes and uh, and, and waste your time versus be like, I kind of want to know, but I don't want to like get out of my email inbox. I just want to archive everything. So they're both nice in that way is they add a little bit of friction in in front of you and some distracting newsletters. So that's the similarity. One difference is the pricing. So SaneBox cost money and unroll me is free so let's talk about what that looks like it is either seven twelve or thirty six dollars a month depending on what you want to get I'll put the pricing in the description below so you can check check that out there is an option and it's hard to find I haven't been able to find it but I know it's there because I have it a two dollar option which is called an appetizer which just does the filtering service so that's currently the service that I'm on I've played around with the the bigger services but that's the one I'm on currently when it comes to SaneBox it doesn't have any of the extra bells and whistles which I'll again talk about in a moment SaneBox free sounds awesome is kind of awesome, except for no, when when you are not paying for something, when you are not the customer, you are the product, and it's no different than than Facebook. <laughs> you don't pay for Facebook, but you do get ads sent to you. And Unroll Me does uh, works the same way, has the same business model as Facebook or Twitter or most most other social media sites. Um, is they they. They take your, your information, your metadata, and they will give it to advertisers. They will sell it to advertisers. They recently got in some hot water. It's, it was back in April of 2017. They sold some of that metadata and said, hey, these services, or these people who use our service also use Lyft. Do you want to know about that, Uber? And Uber's like, totally. Um, so that, that came out in the New York Times. Uh, this uh, Travis guy, I think he's stepped down recently for even more issues, but that was something he was in hot water for. But just know if you're very, very sensitive about your your information and what gets out there, well, good luck in the 21st century. But it, uh, it it's Unroll Me would not be a service you'd want to use. You'd want to pay for that. Um chooses for you versus you choose. So here's what I mean by that. When you start SaneBox, it will automatically say, okay, these ones, these emails, we're going to archive for you. Maybe your inbox is at 2,000 or 3,000 emails. It's going to archive the you know, everything except for the last three months, or I don't know what their algorithm is exactly, but they'll do that. And then I'll say, we think these ones, based off the behavior we expect uh, should be rolled up into the digest and, um, and and these ones shouldn't be. Unroll me, you have to choose. You go into the service and here's what it looks like and you'll go and say, okay, Adobe, uh, I want to unsubscribe from that. Um, Emith, I want to add that one to my roll up. Um, Arasti, I want to unsubscribe from that. So you go through, and it might be a lot. You might have two, three, four hundred emails that you have to take 10, 15, 20 minutes to go through and actually unsubscribe or tell, tell Unroll Me to keep having them send to your inbox. If you don't say anything, if you don't say add to roll, roll up or keep an inbox, it, the newsletter will keep coming to your inbox. It won't make any decisions for you. Um, and when it says unsubscribe, 
I wouldn't say it's 100%. I'd say it's 80, 85%. Sometimes they still get through, so you'll have to be, be careful about that. But you are actually unsubscribing from the newsletter. Samebox handles things a little bit differently, which I will talk about in a moment as well. So you choose with, with Unroll Me. Samebox chooses for you. Samebox also has some extra bells and whistles that Unroll Me doesn't have. and You have to pay for them, but here are a few of them. You can have all your news. If you signed up for a bunch of news, it can go all go into one place. You can also have emails snoozed, so boomerang your emails back. Uh, let's say you've got a meeting. You don't want to see this email about the meeting until the meeting comes. So you just say, hey, and uh, in three weeks, send this back to my inbox so I'll, I'm prepared for the meeting. Or maybe you're at sales and you want to send out an email and you're not sure if the person's going to get back to you. So say, hey, in two weeks, if they haven't responded, come send this email back to me. Nice, nice feature. Um, if you are a Gmail user, I use Boomerang for Gmail for that. I use the free version and it's it's always worked for me. There is a paid upgrade for that one as well. So extra bells and whistles with... Uh, boomerang, no extra bells and whistles with Unroll Me. So SaneBox has a very easy button that you can use for the Sane Black Hole. And with Unroll Me, I already talked about how you actually have to choose to unsubscribe. So what the Sane Black Hole is, let me get that up right here, is a way of sort of unsubscribing from emails. Rather than actually going to the person who's sending you the newsletter, it filters them out. So you don't ever see it again. It claims that it's a little bit safer. In my opinion, they are doing it because uh, if you uh, if you put, put something in your same black hole and you decide after a year or two you don't want to use the service anymore, they're no longer going to filter those emails out. So you are going to get a ton of emails as soon as you stop using Samebox if you use that same black hole feature. It's also not, if if you're a business owner and you've ever used newsletters for marketing, it's also not really nice that you're sending sending out information to people who are not even able to see your uh, your marketing messages. So for, if you're a small business owner, you might want to think about that same, uh, same black hole. That's my personal opinion on it. And that's the difference between the two. One's a filter. The other one is actually attempting to unsubscribe from the service. And I'd say the last thing is Sanebox offers immediate relief. You sign up and your inbox is automatically a lot more sane. And it feels that way. You've got less in your inbox. You are receiving less in e emails. Where with Unroll Me, you have to do 10, 15 minutes of work to start to unsubscribe from from that those people or, or put it into your Unroll Me. So it's not immediate. And it doesn't attack that archive of emails that you might have. So you'll have to go into uh, Gmail. I'll actually put a link to another YouTube video I made on how to bulk unsubscribe uh, in Gmail. That is the rundown. I hope this helped you make an informed decision about using SaneBox or Unroll Me. Have a great day and good luck with your inboxes. Take care. SaneBox makes those choices for you, although sometimes those choices aren't the best because uh, I was in Section D of a Southwest flight recently because I did not get the email because Samebox chose to filter it. So I've got another number of examples where that's happened. Uh, so that's a little bit of a downside when it comes to Samebox. Because it's choosing for you, you don't know what it's, it's rolling up until it's too late.